got scratches on there. This is definitely our guy. Yeah, he um he described the clothing he was wearing, which is the exact same that the uh, victims gave. It was a green shirt and shorts, a large built man. I was thinking he was a fat guy, but he could be a very muscular guy. Um, and then the gray golf cart, and he just said he was at the beach at the same time as them, and actually saw them. Let's have uh, the golf cart in the first place. I don't know. Let's have car one come over and uh, check that dumpster back here by the store and see if you can find his clothes. Yeah. Hello, I like I like flashlights. Hello. Ten David to car one. Go ahead, David. Can you go over to the dumpster in front of the store? Apparently the suspect said he dumped his old clothes there. Um, just see if he's got those clothes that we were looking on. He said he bought new clothes. Okay. Hey, sir, you said you uh, dropped your old clothes by a dumpster. Where was that? Over there by the... Uh, 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 the, uh, the clothes store. Over there. Okay, why, wh what was the reason for dumping your clothes? Oh, just that agency. It's dirty, you don't, you don't clean your clothes, you just toss them in the trash? I had Monday to step in, so I got little. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Hold on, let me just go talk to this guy. Hey, do it on the bike. Who are you? Ask him if this, at his best guess, is this the, is this pretty, is this the, uh... Ten, 10 David Carr 1. Go ahead, 10 David. You ended up finding them clothes in that dumpster? I uh, just found a dumpster over by the uh, clothing place down on Polito Boulevard. 10 4, did you find anything there? Just getting out now, I'm taking a look. 10 4. I'm pretty much okay with it, depending on when car David find, uh, car one finds what he wants. Right now, we got enough probable cause, enough witnesses, at least enough to bring it to trial. Whether it's all we can really do. We'll just wait for car David to find out if he's got the, got anything on it on the dumpster. See if anything else turns up. I'd also like to run him with for, for alcohol and see if we can get him for operation under the influence. My guess is, is he's been drinking, but I can't talk to him, so you're going to have to translate for me, so Sorry. try to run him through the sobriety test and uh, see if he's under the influence of anything. It's the only dumpster that I located, it's next to the clothing store, and uh, a very dirty green shirt was found, uh, shorts and muddy shoes. Ten four. All right, 
I've gathered that. 10 4. 10 David Cumberland County. Go ahead, 10 David. Do we have anybody that is available for a blood draw? Not at this time, 10 David. I'll try to call. Uh, I blow very hard. Mm -hmm. It's a straw, I'm just taking it out of the wrapper. It's only being used, so there's no no worry about uh, contamination or Was that last time you said you had alcohol? Oh, not at all today. I, I do not drink. I find it very disgusting. You don't drink? How did it come back with a uh, .006? No clue. Alright, well... I have no clue. Well, we'll perform a draw at the station then. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Be so advised, rescue one's currently yeah, available. Copy, Roscoe. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's close up. Like me to head over there. David, if you could uh, have Rescue 1 right, meet um, uh, at this time, at the police station. Uh, unfortunately, you are being placed under arrest, not for the uh, alcohol limit, um, but for the uh, suspicion of uh, hit and run when I, when you're and uh, attempted murder with assault on a deadly weapon. It is seeming like you possibly the... I do not have weapon. Boil the one, Connie. Tony. Ten David's gonna be ten. Ten nine for the evening. Boil one, two, two, County. Well, I'm too good. Can I get a uh, tow truck here to impound the golf cart? Yeah, for B County listen, too. Listen, I want to talk to your higher up right Sanford. now. I want to talk to your chief. Okay. I want to talk to whoever. I don't okay. care. I want to talk to him that's somewhere. Behind you. I want to talk to him real fast because this is a lot. But you're first of all, so you're paying for you kicking over my bike and chipping off I the paint and, and shit. Sir, don't you understand? This bike costs a lot of money. I know it. Yeah. Hey, Ted David Portland, too. Can you delete my um, my diaper when you get here? First off, of course it looks nice. I bought it from somewhere that none of your business needs to know. Second off, uh -huh. you chipped my paint. You chipped my goddamn paint. You knocked me off of it. Probably broke my goddamn mirror somehow. Oh, here comes the chief. Hey, chief, can I talk to you yeah, real fast? Just... Yes. Hey, uh, Seems to be the he, problem. Yeah. So he, he, this officer, is like, he, he stopped me for an unlawful traffic stop because the last time I recall, he, uh, I saw him run a red light without uh, his lights and sirens on. Hmm. I think he's abusing his power as an officer just because he's the law enforcement. 
Okay, well this isn't about him right now. Why did we stop you? You stopped me because obviously, you know, I did a wheelie and ran the red light and also didn't have my headlight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Failure to maintain control of a motor vehicle. And no headlights? And no headlights and I ran a red light. You got a death wish? But I'm not. I'm not having a death wish here. I'm just. I'm just wondering, like, how is it? How is it right for your your officer right here to run the red light without his lights and sirens going? Well, I mean, like, you you have every right to make a complaint at the PD. That that's your right as a civilian. We're not here to discuss. Want to hear what else we're not here to discuss him. We're here to discuss your driving, and the reason that you were pulled over. Okay, that's the reason why I was pulled over. Yeah. Let me tell you something else. Before. Your officer, a couple early in the morning or late afternoon, I think a couple weeks back, he, he kicked over, he kicked me, kicked off mm -hmm. my bike and kicked me off, off my bike, okay. chipped my paint. Yeah, did you make a report? my mirror, had to get that repaired. No, I was going to go right to no. the after this traffic stop. Oh, okay, okay, so you told me it was two weeks ago, and you're going to go right to the office? Two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, okay. Give me, your, give me your license, your registration, your proof of insurance, please. Name on that? Alright, Joe. Just sit tight. I'll be right back with you. Alright, Joe, here's your information back. Looks like you got the bike okay. registered this time. That's a step in the right direction. Yes, sir. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stop mouthing off, because uh, we already know you're assaultive to officers. And you're just trying to instigate. Probably you've got a video camera going or something, so you can try to get a lawsuit going. You're going to get your... I don't even have a video camera. Alright, well... Regardless, you're going to get your ticket for uh, whatever he's going to issue the ticket for, which I assume is going to be reckless conduct with a motor vehicle, because you did say that you were operating without headlights and a wheelie, and you're going to be on your way. Just to keep in mind that this officer right here is going to pay for the damages and pay for the bill. Okay, okay. That, that was two weeks ago. You failed to file a report in a timely fashion, so we're going to move on from that. Well, I got busy. Well, that's not my yeah, fault. It's not my fault. It's not his fault. If he wanted to make a complaint, he could have made the complaint. So that's that's well, our that's water that's already flowing under the bridge. So we're going to be moving on here. So go ahead and finish up with him and be on your way, okay? Fine. All right, here's your license back and your registration. I don't want to hear anything more out of you for about a week, you understand? It is a lot. I don't want to see any more shit from you. You keep, you keep it up, you're gonna be ending up in jail, man. What for jail? Yeah, I can't. Okay, officer, he's right in my ticket, so I can get out of here.
Thanks. Where do I sign? On the bottom? On the top? The middle? Bottom. You don't want any substance on the back. Like you don't want to the yeah, I don't care about that. I just find the ticket there. You happy okay. now? Don't be a smart ass, Jill. You know what to sign. I'm sorry. Sorry, Chief. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, Chief. You gotta sorry. stop making habits of this, Joe. You're gonna find yourself in jail, I'm telling you. I know, but it's just unfair how he read the he, how he ran the red light without. Yeah, we'll we'll deal with that. That's a completely separate complaint. Just because he does it doesn't mean it's okay for you to do it, but we'll just, we'll talk about why he did it later. Okay. All right. Go ahead and be on your way, Joe. All I can't file any of your maths on Play the War Vault. Yo, what's going on? A bike. Just blew up. Bike just blew up? Comping at. Someone's down. 74, someone's in one route. You come up to that metaphor? I need him, Coach, sorry. What's more important, fire or EMS? Fire. You've got a fire truck coming from Polito. Cover that. Where you at? Right beside the um, fire station. Other way, I believe. I thought he was at the church. Are you at the church? No, that's what we um, were at. Oh, Here we go. I got it. I'll light it up. I think. Where's the bike? Um, over there by the tree. Oh, it's by the tree on the left, over here. No, it's on fire. Not on my screen. Oh, there it is. Alright. It's not on fire for me. Yeah, not on fire for me. My screen is. Put it out. You should have a fire extinguisher. Yep, I do. Ah. That's the only well, thing with the fire script on the server. If you have a, if you see fire, you have to put it out because it's not synced. Okay, so. Hey, sir, how we doing? It's gonna be a few minutes. We'll get this all taken care of. We can be on your way. You guys think we're able to flow one lane of traffic here or no? Um, my screen is body, so I know what to right now. Oh, yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah. So. We'll keep it shut down, though. Yeah. 
I forgot about the deceased in the middle of the road. Well, I knew he was going to get himself in trouble. I didn't think he was going to kill himself tonight. I don't even know what happened. I was behind me. Oh, he's definitely going to be dead if that fire truck runs him over. I think Callie's coming. Is he kind of I'm going to go look at that bike because I know his license plate, so. These fire guys, man. Okay. I don't know, I'm not able to I'm not able to find a license plate. like it blew off in the explosion. I don't know if it's his or not. I don't know what happened. Probably one of them damn suicide bombers or some shit. Yeah, this yeah. looks like Joe was wearing. We got EMS coming. Yeah, the county has to come. You said EMS is coming to this, right? Um, I think the time comes or come. Yeah. And the other one's at the police station. Alright. Well, let's get this cleaned up, get the road opened up, then. Yeah, it's a county game. Yeah. Andrew, can you hear me at all? Or Joe, rather? Oh, you still breathing. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh my. Oh. oh my God. Are you okay? That kind of hurt. Friggin' motorcycles. Um. Oh, it was right there. there we go. Let's get him loaded into this thing then and. Get him off to the hospital. So he's still alive. Uh, hey, we got one still alive over here. Okay. He's uh. You can find a place for him. He's just hanging on. So. Right. It's right over here. I'll grab under his armpits if he'll grab his legs, and we'll sit him in the front seat as he cares we can. Okay. All right. Uh, he's got a helmet on. That's good. Actually, before we move him. Alright Joe, we're picking you up. We're gonna get you in that Tahoe and get you off to the hospital. Right, you are. Yeah, let's take him over there and get him in that Tahoe. Alright Joe, let's go. Alright, 
Alright, why don't you follow him to the hospital and you can take the report. Oh. Okay. You were first on scene, so. The only one that's in Toledo, uh, okay. just a Toledo Medical Center. Well, the one kind of be 10 ain't open on the road. Rescue one is going to be on scene, Polito Medical with one. Damn. 